And brought to you by our friends at the American Divorce Association for Men Facing Divorce. Call the expert attorneys at Adam. 248-356-ADAM. Hi, everybody on Facebook Live, WCSX. Yellow. Hi. All right, Ryan, what did you say? What did you do? All right, so I, I like to make light of situations. Okay. And Heidi's dealing with gestational diabetes, so I figured it'd be a good time to make light of it, right? Try, I'm sorry, to, who are you talking to? Try Me? to ease the tension in the household. Keep the room light. So I don't know what it was. We got something was going on the other day, and I told her to calm down, but I called her Diabetes Debbie. No, 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 no. Okay. No. Does that fall under last week's grounds for divorce of things not to say to your seven month pregnant wife? Yes. Diabetes Debbie. I thought it was hilarious. I cracked myself up. 248-398-9279. Is it okay that Ryan is making light of this by referring to her as Diabetes Debbie? You got to make light of the situation. Like, it, it sucks, but she dealt with it before with the, our first kid. She knows what she's doing. She's awesome at it. Figuring it all out. So I'm like, yeah, let's let's make a little fun of the situation here. See, is it, there's another part that she didn't think about. What? You know when we talk, we talk poor about the old, you know, the the scorecard, the marriage yeah, scorecard. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have just given her one that eight years from now you may not, you won't even see it coming. Hey, I want to go out and do this thing, blah blah blah, or buy this. I don't know if we should really do that. Oh, I'm sorry. Did diabetes daddy hold you up? It's going to come <laughs> out, and you're going to be like, wham. See, I don't know because we go back and forth. We've talked about it. Like we gotta, we gotta act nicer towards each other. Our kids going to think we don't like each other because we just, you know. We like to rip each other a little bit. Okay. So I think this falls under that category. Well, let's find I out what the listeners was, think. I thought it was a hilarious name. I thought of it right on the spot, man. <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> Hi, Lori. Thanks for holding. Go ahead. Hi, Jim. Hi. Ryan? Yes? What in the H-E double toothpicks were you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> I, it just happened. It was in the moment, and I it just popped through my head, and I thought it was funny, so I said it. Oh, God. Well, someone who has gone through gestational diabetes, yeah, it's not fun. I know. At all. That's why you got to try to make it. You got to make it light, right? Mm. Yeah, but not with something like that. And if you ever called me that, oh, you'd be lucky to be picking up just your teeth. <laughs> Did you hear, though? We just heard a little Lori sound there. Mm. That was the one. That, that's what the last thing you hear before that skillet hits you in the skull. <laughs> Oh, skillet filled with uh, hot grits. Oh, good lord! Damn. All right, Lori, have a great day. I love I don't you. Play that. Uh, mm, mm. You need to apologize. Mm. Okay. Bye, Lori. Oh, uh, bye, guys. Bye. Mm. Hi, Kevin. Hey, guys. How's it going? Uh, good. What do you think? Uh, I think Heidi needs to lighten up. Ryan needs to put his little size six crop down, and this is not so bad. And and get over things. This. I said much worse to my pregnant wife. When she said she was big as a house, to other people, I'd be like, yeah, with an attached garage. Oh, my God. Okay. Are you, you guys are yeah. still together, right? Uh, she actually, we, we were married for almost 25 years. She passed away a couple years ago, but. Oh, sorry, sorry man. No, sorry. Hey, Kevin, sorry about that. Okay, that's okay, thanks. But um, we, we laughed about it. Like, you yeah, have she fun. was pretty angry yeah. at her. She was pretty angry at first, I, I got to admit. But we laughed about that for a lot of years yeah, afterwards. So, it's it's fun. Yeah. And I, like I said, I know it's a serious issue and all that stuff, but she's taking care of it. She knows what she's doing, and I'm here to help her yeah. any way she needs. But a little joke like that lightens the mood up once in a while. Yeah, you, you got to laugh. By the way, Kevin, even when he calls her Diabetes Debbie, he also has one of those little animal trainer boxes on his hip, and he throws chocolate at her. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably, that's a little too far, right? <laughs> and, and that didn't calm her down? <laughs> <laughs> You're not helping, Kev. Be safe on the roads. We'll talk to you soon, bud. All right. Have a good day, guys. You too, man. 248-398-9279. That's our house phone. Ryan's wife, Heidi, amazing woman. She, she's seven months pregnant. She has gestational diabetes, and she's doing great. Oh, yeah. But you gave her the nickname Diabetes Debbie. You texted me that last Friday, yeah, and I responded, dude, went, "Oh dear, crack it off." God, what did you just say? And I'm like, "Yeah, good luck, buddy." Yeah, Kelly said, "Jim, you got to give Heidi an award for dealing with him every day." I know. I've said before, there will there will probably be when when all is said and done, there will be a statue of Heidi. Yeah, she's cool. That's why I could do this. It's not like I don't know my wife. 
She's going to give it right back to me. I probably can't even, I can't remember, but I'm sure I couldn't say what she called me after that. <laughs> See, that's the problem. You've had so many concussions, you can zing you and you won't remember. You're like, that's cool. What is this movie? MASH. Okay. <laughs> Never seen it. Kristen, good morning. Thanks for holding. Good morning, Jim. Morning, Ryan. Hello. Um, you belong in the doghouse. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, I had gestational diabetes both of my pregnancies. I think she should punish you by making you go on the same diet she has to be on. That's not a bad idea. Like a, a sympathy thing, a, a way to show support for your, your wife, you should go on the same diet that Heidi's on. Right. Right. Because the reason that she has to take the insulin is because your baby is trying to make enough for both of them. So really, this is Ryan's fault because he did the hard part, right? <laughs> That was Jim. That was Jim. Damn it. I was doing good. Damn. I thought I was getting out of here. Okay. Okay. You know what? When you guys can actually give birth, then you can say you did the hard part. Go ahead. Say the kidney stone line, Ryan. Might as well. Yeah, doctors have told me it's just like having a baby, so <laughs> I've technically had like eight kids. Oh, man. We are, we are so good to just torch this morning. <laughs> Hey, be safe on the roads this morning. We appreciate you listening, too, okay? Thanks. You guys have a great day. You, too. Bye. <laughs> Hold on. Hi, Sean. Hey, what's going on, guys? You are, baby. What do you think? Hey, you remember last time I called, I said grounds for divorce would be grounds for divorce, and sometimes I think Ryan stepped in it pretty bad this time. With diabetes, Danny? Yeah. Debbie calling his oh, wife. Oh, yeah. Daddy. You know, I mean, I went through four pregnancies with my kid's mother, and, I mean, you even look at them and say, well, your feet are getting fat. They start getting hormonal and cry right on the spot, and their emotions are all over the place. So, yeah, you want to make light of the situation, you might want to pick another subject. But, <laughs> hey, I do want to offer my services to you, though, because I am a carpenter. I can build you a badass dog house <laughs> oh that's fantastic i appreciate that man I'll, I'll write down your number for later then sean you're great man hey <laughs> Thanks, have a good sean. day okay bud bye guys all right bye oh no she's on facebook oh heidi's on there right now yeah hi hi heidi you know i love you and heidi. i wouldn't do it like Lori. Lori texted and said good morning guys ryan you know heidi so i don't see anything wrong with what you said you know if she's able to take it or not keep a little fun in the marriage yeah we give each other crap all the time Ryan texted in. I noticed he, we went right to that text. Yeah, Ryan said, you're only, I know, you're only supposed to pick on your wife about things she has control over. I'm also a huge smartass, all caps, which is probably why I'm divorced. We're not getting divorced, but it's no, all good, man. Not at all. Good luck, buddy. Thank like you. I, I've said this multiple times. She knows who she married and knows that I'm sometimes an a-hole. Sometimes I'm, uh, you know, a little too smart for my own good. Not books. <laughs> smart ass. For yeah. my, you you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, no, no. Totally get it. Yeah. Life's fun, man. We're only on this rock for a little while. We got to have fun with it, right? <laughs> Are you using cliches to try to get out of this now? You're always good as your last game. Grass is always green on the other side oh, of the septic man. tank. 248-398-9279 is her house phone. <laughs> she said, I love you, and I'm not awake yet, so you're lucky. <laughs> Don't worry about Heidi. You can watch this. You can replay this in about an hour. Get a cup oh, of coffee. Oh, man. No, wait, she doesn't drink coffee right away, right? No, no. That's, yeah. How long does she do that? I don't know. Okay. Am I trying to get you in trouble right now? I'll stop. No, I won't. Um, is it okay for Ryan to make light of Heidi's pregnancy issue with gestational diabetes by referring to her as Diabetes Debbie? Two four eight three nine eight nine two seven nine. And she's doing amazing at it. I I couldn't do it. I don't have the discipline like she does. Again, you did the hard part getting her pregnant, right? I mean, I mean, that's the work. Yeah. Yeah. That's nine months, <laughs> nine All seconds. Right, stop. What's the difference? <laughs>